it's where everything comes together. The de-icing programs, the fueling programs, the ground handling programs, the, the maintenance of the, you know, turning the aircraft, the pilots operating the aircraft, the flight attendants, everything comes to a point at the aircraft. Many people talk about aircraft safety. We don't speak of the aircraft safety, we speak of the human safety. And that human is not only the pilot, it's our families. I'm an operations research analyst. I do safety analysis for the FAA. Growing up, always wanting to be a pilot, I still have that sense of wonderment when I look up. You're not just a regulator sitting behind a desk, that you're also a pilot who is out there flying, who wants to operate safely. I really think that's an important aspect of what we do. I am the Human Factors Research Division Manager. We look at different technologies that go into the cockpit. What the division is responsible for is performing research that's aimed at enhancing human performance within the aviation spectrum. I'm an aviation safety inspector. We will develop a test that will take place in the simulator here. We're able to collect data, enhancing efficiency, reducing the carbon footprint, and reducing noise, put more airplanes together into the same airspace more efficiently. This is a really cool time in aviation. We are on this cutting edge in terms of the advent of unmanned aircraft technology. In AVS, we're not just sort of in charge of incorporating or integrating this into the national airspace system, but we're also on that cutting edge of, of integrating a new technology into society. I'm the team coordinator for the cabin safety research team. We are concerned with everything inside the cabin that relates to passenger safety. We're currently in the flexible aircraft cabin simulator, also known as the flex sim. It is what we use for evacuation research. I came from NASA, I worked at the White Sands Test Facility um, as an aerospace engineer there as well. Each engineer, um, we're all part of the big team effort and the project effort to get that um, component or uh, engine or aircraft certified. The first thing when somebody has the new idea, flying cars, electric engines, the first place they will often come is to aircraft certification. The innovation is incredible to listen to ways people have thought of bringing new safety into the aviation industry. What I do um, every day is manage the diversity and inclusion program for AVS. A big role is making sure that we get the best talent across this country to come and work in FAA and AVS. I'm the manager over the forensic toxicology research team and the biochemistry research team. So we videotape everything that comes in and we process them. We take a portion of it uh, to provide for the toxicology analyses. Both teams do research attempting to come up with prevention strategies for future accidents. I'm a management and program analyst for the Civil Aviation Registry. There are currently about 307,000 aircraft registered on Part 47. On the airman side, currently there's about 1.4 million active airman records. It's a process of a lot of different people to feed it all into one system to get it all done to make sure that everybody gets the accurate information that they need. I'm an air traffic control safety specialist. We are responsible for setting and approving safety standards. We monitor compliance against those standards and we also oversee the Air Traffic Organization's safety management system. I'm the General Aviation and Commercial Division Small UAS Team Lead for Policy and Implementation. Every decision that we make, it's about the public. I love the fact that what we do, there are tangible results every single day. When there's not a commercial aviation accident, we know that's the result of the regulations that we have in place. What gets me to get up and come to work every day is the research we do here. I'm able to help the airline move to a safer and more compliant stance. It's very rewarding to see some of the work that we've done be implemented in the national airspace system. It makes you want to come into work and help determine what we can do to improve aviation safety. When I look up at the sky and I see an airplane, I feel a sense of pride. There's a sense of a personal responsibility. You take this as an important thing 
as to what you do. Every day I go to work and I know that we are saving lives. We're making it safer for the flying public and we're making it overall a better industry. The compendium of personnel involves chemists, physiologists, toxicologists, geneticists, engineers. Somehow they merge their knowledge to arrive at better ways to protect the most important aspect of the national airspace system, and that's the human. I. 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 I am aviation safety.